Um, tell me first of all, any idea how many tenants were inside or how many were here? Well, there should be around 30. But it could be as much as 35, 36 because they have overnight guests, let's say. Over at the Red Cross this morning, there were about 15 people there at the time. Do you know where everyone's gone? What can you do for these people at this point? Very little. I've got six, I hope, empty apartments that we can move six of them into. But what happens to the rest of them, I don't know. Where are those apartments? Uh, I own some down on Gotham Street, some down on uh, Sterling, and I've got one vacant over on uh, West Main Street. Okay, so some of those tenants will go there to the rest? Nothing at this point? The rest, I have nothing to offer them at this point. As quick as I get something, I will take most of them back if I can, <laughs> you know, if I can get it. Um, just saw some people coming out of here, cleaning up a few things they can find. The TV came out, a couple other things. How extensive have you heard the damages? Is it every unit? Have most people in here lost? Just about everything? Uh, second and third floors are pretty well definite. The first floor, uh, everything is going to be water damage, if nothing else. Most of them have lost every damn thing they had, and they had nothing to start with. Most of them. Mm -hmm. And I'll have them while I can, but that's about all I can do is help those sex for right now. I couldn't believe it. Uh, I didn't get a call because something happened to my phone and it acts like a receiver is off the hook. The sheriff's department stuck down and knocked on the door. And when my puppy jumped off the bed, we knew something was up. But it doesn't, other than that, uh, they came down and told me. My phone isn't working down. To your knowledge, everybody got out safely? Everybody got out pretty much safely. I believe there was three that were slightly injured. Uh, one of the tenants, and I honestly can't tell you which one it was, went around knocking on doors, getting everybody up. And he's the one that should be given, a couple of them should be the ones that are given any credit for getting everybody out. I did nothing. Properties insured? Uh, partially. For how much? I think I've got 400000 on it. Replacement would be two, two and a half million. But of course, there's no way I could afford to insure it for that kind of money. And how much would demolition expected to cost? 150 to 200 And that's taking it easy, I believe, as far as the price goes. They're going to be knocking down the top half of it. I hope today. Because it's totally unstable. Have they told you anything about the tenants that can come back and get any of their belongings? Is there any nothing? nothing? No. no. All I heard is what the lady just told me that she saw somebody carrying out a television set. I didn't think they were letting anybody back in there yet. And most of what they're going to be carrying out isn't going to be any good. It's going to be so smoky and wet that they mostly it's going to be unusable. Do you know which apartment the fire is believed to have started in? Yes, uh, let's see, it would be 11A. 11A. And the tenant that crossed the hall is another one that was getting people out. I believe he's an Indian gentleman. I cannot think of his last name. Either. I know where they live more than I know okay. who they are. <laughs> were, were those two people injured or no? Uh, he burned his hands. The other one, I don't, the other gentleman, I don't think did. There was two people that got burned and a little bit of smoke inhalation is what I've heard, but that's all. Anything else? Is 11A over a there? 11A is the uh, third floor with the double windows all burned. Uh, actually, that window is burned worse with the one in the. Uh, just diagonally up from the television receiver. Okay, because I understand that two people were rescued, one off the balcony back there. 
in another one in Parkinson's. That, that I don't know nothing about. Nobody's mentioned that to me yet. <laughs>